A supernova is the result of a giant star, larger than our sun, reaching the end of its existence. It is one of the most catastrophic catastrophes in the cosmos. A tremendous explosion that was damaging on a scale that was nearly unimaginable for humans. And occasionally, they are so strong that they are visible to the unaided eye from Earth. Although researchers had assumed they understood this process, new findings have identified not one but two distinct types of supernova. However, how strong is a supernova, and is it possible for the Earth to be destroyed by one in the future? Prepare to be taken aback by the responses to these and other questions. Thermonuclear fusion, which creates heavier atoms by fusing light atoms in their cores, is the process that gives stars like our Sun their luminosity. Every star eventually runs out of the raw ingredients required for fusion. Should this occur and the star be large enough, a supernova explosion will occur. Chinese astronomers made the first discovery of supernovae in 185 AD when they unexpectedly noticed a bizarre guest star emerge in the night sky and remain visible for the following eight months. In human history, it was the first supernova observation ever made. However, there have been more observations of this planet. A startlingly brilliant star that was seen in Earth's skies burst into the constellation Lupus in the year 1006 AD. It would have been 16 times brighter than Venus, the brightest object in our night sky other than the Moon, according to modern scientists. This supernova actually got so bright that it could be seen in the sky during the day. The supernova 1987A, which occurred in 1987, was the most recent supernova to be seen with the naked eye. Will we, however, get to witness another one? We'll discuss that shortly. 70 million light-years distant, in the spiral galaxy NGC 2525, the Hubble telescope captured a supernova, giving you a sense of what these would have looked like. Hubble started tracking the star in February 2018 and continued till 2019. Before fading, the supernova first appears as a dazzling star on the outer edge of the galaxy, outshining even the brightest stars. It took all this time to witness this star's explosion 70 million years ago, when dinosaurs were still roaming the planet, but now that the light from the enormous explosion has finally reached us, we can see it. Type 1A thermonuclear and Type 2 iron core collapse supernovae were believed to be the only two types of supernovae discovered. A white dwarf star in a binary system at least eight times the mass of the Sun explodes as a thermonuclear supernova, also known as Type 1A, when it gets too big to support itself after sucking material from a nearby partner star. The white dwarf is torn apart by a runaway thermonuclear explosion that occurs when matter builds up to a certain mass limit. The majority of people are familiar with supernovae that have an iron core collapse. When a large star, one that is at least 10 times the mass of the Sun, runs out of nuclear fuel, this is what occurs. A black hole or a neutron star is left behind after the star's iron core collapses due to gravity as a result of the internal fusion of molecules, which renders the star incapable of supporting its own weight. These were believed by astronomers to be the only two possible scenarios for a supernova. However, a global group of researchers led by UC Santa Barbara has now used the Las Cumbres Observatory to find a new kind of supernova in the galaxy NGC 2146, which is located 31 million light-years away. An electron capture supernova is the name given to this novel kind of star explosion. Some of the electrons in the oxygen, neon, and magnesium cores are crushed into their atomic nuclei in an electron capture supernova, also known as electron capture. Due to the loss of electrons, the star's core collapses and buckles under its own weight, causing a tremendous explosion. However, a different form of supernova was just found recently. When a group of astronomers examined data from the 2017 Very Large Array Sky Survey, they discovered something unexpected, a black hole was the source of a supernova. A dead star companion, either a neutron star or a black hole, collided with the core of a neighboring star, causing an explosion. A spiral of material was expelled from the star's atmosphere by this black hole, also known as a neutron star, as it crashed into the huge star. Material rained quickly upon the stellar corpse as it approached the star's core, causing two X-ray jets to shoot out almost as quickly as light and igniting the explosion. This is the first reported instance of a supernova caused by a collision. 
NASA's Chandra X-ray Observatory has followed the remnants of a supernova explosion that Johannes Kepler saw in 1604, when a dying star 20,000 light-years from Earth tore itself apart, in case you were wondering how quickly particles from one of these explosions may travel. The NASA spacecraft discovered trash traveling through space at a speed of almost 32 million kilometers per hour, or 23 million miles per hour, more than 400 years after it first entered the atmosphere. That outpaces sound speed by a factor of 25,000. Now that you are somewhat informed about these potent star explosions, you may be wondering what would occur if a supernova ever happened to strike Earth. The side of the planet facing the sun at the moment of the explosion would burn and boil away, yet the Earth might not be completely destroyed if our sun burst as a supernova. The temperature of the entire planet would rise to 15 times that of the sun's surface. In addition, due to the abrupt drop in the sun's mass, the Earth would not remain in its orbit and would instead stray into space. Luckily, our sun is not large enough or massive enough to go supernova. However, let's think about the explosion of a star other than our sun that is close enough to cause significant issues for us here on Earth. A star that is 30 to 50 light years away from Earth might have catastrophic effects on it, according to astronomers. The ozone layer that shields us from solar UV radiation would be destroyed by X-rays and more powerful gamma rays from a supernova that occurred close enough to Earth. Additionally, it might ionize oxygen and nitrogen in the atmosphere, producing massive volumes of nitrous oxide that resemble smog. The majority of creatures would be wiped off by radiation, seriously depleting the base of the ocean food chain, and phytoplankton and coral reefs would be impacted. There's a chance that the supernova will largely spare surface and marine life. Nevertheless, gamma rays and other high-energy radiation would bombard the planet, perhaps causing mutations in life on Earth. There would undoubtedly be widespread extinctions of all plant and animal species. So, has the Earth ever been struck by supernova waves? It turns out that hints discovered by scientists on Earth demonstrate that, in a previous life, the solar system as a whole actually passed through the debris clouds of a supernova. Indeed, for the past 33,000 years, the entire solar system has been circling through a supernova's debris fields. The solar system as a whole rests in a region known as the local bubble, which was actually cut out by a supernova. In addition to blasting holes out of the Milky Way, supernovae have left behind radioactive iron isotopes known as Iron-60, which can only be produced by a star blowing up, as evidenced by their presence on Earth's ocean floor. However, throughout all of human history, no supernova has been known to occur at this close of a distance. In the next 50 years, how likely is it that you will witness a Milky Way supernova in the sky from Earth? There is a 20 to 50 percent possibility that someone in the southern hemisphere, where there is a greater galaxy visible at night, will observe a supernova explosion with their unaided eyes. Within the constellation Orion the Hunter, Betelgeuse is one star that could explode as a supernova at any time. Betelgeuse, a bright red dot that marks Orion's shoulder, is one of the biggest stars currently in existence. This star is a fading red supergiant, about 950 times larger in diameter than our Sun. It will explode, providing humanity with a cosmic firework spectacular, either tonight or in 100,000 years. Betelgeuse began to drastically dim in 2019, raising the possibility that the star may have reached the end of its life. While the exact nature of the supernova remains unknown, astronomers do agree that it will occur during the day and that it will be visible as a bright light in the sky, comparable to a full moon that casts shadows at night. Although it sounds a little terrifying to claim you'll witness the enormous explosion, Betelgeuse is approximately 724 light-years away and well outside the supernova kill range of 30 to 50 light-years, so there's no need to fear about this supernova wiping out life on Earth. The only creatures that would be puzzled by the addition of a second, equally bright light in the sky would be those who rely on the moon for navigation. You still have a chance to see a supernova with the unaided eye, and it will be the first one in decades if Betelgeuse doesn't blow up during our lives. In the constellation Cygnus the Swan, there is a double star located directly off the tip of the left wing. These two stars' orbits are accelerating, which indicates to astronomers that they are coming closer and will eventually combine in 2022, a year that is rapidly approaching. Even though this star system is 1,800 light-years away, it should be visible to the unaided eye. Its brightness will be of the second magnitude, which is equal to that of the Big Dipper stars. Additionally, you're going to see something extremely interesting if you have a telescope. We sincerely hope you enjoyed this film, and we would like to know what you would like to see us make next. Please let us know in the comments. I appreciate you seeing.